Hi students, in this video, linear grouping. So, program for linear grouping. So, in linear grouping, what is the hash function used? We have already discussed what is this linear probing collision resolution technique with the example problem. If you have not seen that video, please see that video and come back to this implementation. H of k equal to small h of k plus i modulus hash table size. What is i here? i value is starting from 0, 1, 2, 3. What is this linear probing technique? Linear probing technique is one of the collision resolution techniques. Now, how to implement this linear probing technique? So, open our Dev C++, Dev C++ editor. New document. So first write down the comment lines. This is the program to implement linear probing collision resolution technique. So include the header files. Hash include stdivo.h then we require hash table of size some 10 20 30 whatever you want to take you can take the hash table size that you can define hash define h size h size equal to 10 so that means hash table modulus h size we are doing now that modulus hash table size, that hash table size is 10 now. Okay. So, now we define the size. So, now we have to take that array variable. Hash table is an array variable that we have to declare. So, declare it globally. Integer. Hash table size, some h of, of size, h size. Okay. That is the global variable. So, and we are initializing that to null. Initially, hash table is empty. So, now one by one operation we will perform. So, first we will write the main function with the following options. What are the operations we are going to perform? Like inserting an element into the hash table. So, displaying the element, all the elements are present in the hash table and then we will search the element. First we will write the insertion function. First before that we will write the main function. So in main function void void main integer so choice which option or which operation you want to perform that is choice and that's all based on the choice we will do so printf what are the operations you are going to perform first one is insert slash n second option is display slash n third one is search slash n Fourth one is exit slash n. So here also I am writing slash n. First user has to ask for choice. So printf slash n in the new line. Enter your choice. Next is scanf percentage d address of choice that is already declared so now switch off choice so what is the first option we are going to perform insertion operation so choice equal to 1 option 1 
which operation we will perform insert then break what is the second option here see what here we have written display so second option here it is display two so in the menu here second option we have given display so that's why here also we will write the same function calling and then break case 3 what is the option there search break case 4 finally we should terminate the program execution okay that's it so main function is completed now we will write one by one functions so first we will insert an element into the hash table insertion operation into the hash table we will insert an element into the hash table so start the function definition it returns nothing so function name is void function name insert no parameters in the insert method now which element you want to insert take it as key i want to insert element now for every time hash table from 0th position to 9th position so for that index is required now so that index and then so hash value we have to calculate so that's why hash value or simply h value okay so now now we have to which element we have to read key which element you want to insert slash n enter key to insert and then scan f percentage d address of choice or oh, not choice here which element you want to insert which is a key na? so here key so now the element is ready then we have to find out h value or hash value now hash value how can you calculate hash value hash value equal to key modulus key modulus hash table size what is the variable we have considered h size h size so now key modulus h size now uh, we will save it first save the program what is it linear probing now linear probing dot c okay calculated the hash value calculation of hash value or bucket number so we will get the bucket number now we have to check whether that bucket is full or empty that means collision occurs or not for that purpose we will check the hash table so i equal to zero from entire table we have to verify from zero at the position to the table size so i equal to zero i less than hash table size so which is h size and then i plus plus then for loop stars now we will check from 0 at the position so now some index equal to this h value we have calculated now that h value that h value plus if you remember the hash uh, function in linear probing so small h of key plus i modulus a hash table size so modulus hash table size okay so now we will get the some index now we have to check whether it is empty or not if h of we are getting here see here we are getting the index number now that index in the bucket is it empty or collision occurs that we have to verify now so that's why if h of index equal to null if it is equal to null, if it is equal to null, that means 
as that cell is MD. So MD, no collision. No collision. Then we can insert. Now we can insert. So H of in that index we can insert the key. So then we have to stop the process. Yeah. If it is not empty, if it is not empty, then it has to check the next cell. A next cell, I place I. Again, it will verify. So if it is no collision, then again it will be inserted like that. So this will be repeated until until empty cell occurs for the key element. Okay. So now. So like that it will repeat then it comes out of the loop. Now if you reach to end of the bucket what does it mean? You search from 0th cell to 9th cell in the hash table. Then what we have to do? We have to stop the process. That means you are not getting an empty cell. So insertion is not possible. So here we can write insertion is not possible. Print F. Insertion is not possible. Slash n. Here I am writing slash n. Okay. Now here close the function. That's it. So just to save it once. Now here we have performed insertion function. So after insertion we will write a display. Okay. After that we will write search function. Now display. Display is nothing but displaying the contents present in the hash table. So returns nothing. Void. Here I will write the comments. That is function to display the hash table. That means hash table is nothing but what are the values present in the hash table. All those things we have to display. So void. The function name we will consider is display. Now for display Loop is required na. So from 0th bucket to 2 or 0th cell to the last cell. We had to verify. So loop is required. So for that loop purpose. So here I am taking one variable. I variable. Okay. So now I for I equal to 0. I less than hash table size. Entire contents in the hash table. We had to verify. So now print F printf what we will write in new line uh, <coughs> the index number equal to percentage d some space the value in that index equal to percentage d next again new line uh, already starting we have given new line uh, right so now this is I that means the hash table cell number bucket number and then the key the key present in the hash table H of I that's it and finally close that printf and that printf statement that's it so here you can write a message like the slash n the hash table contents are okay again once again save it now this is your display function okay so now again insertion completed display completed now search see how to perform search operation again you are compare with the element present in the hash table that comparison when we will do that comparison after calculation of this hash value only okay so now void search of integer we have to calculate the hash value okay so then uh, then you can write hash value we have to calculate and then index uh, for loop control variable we are taking i we will check any other variables are required or not yeah now find out which element? Now here which element you want to search? That we have to read now. New line. Uh, enter the 
element to search. Then scan F percentage D address of element. Which element you want to search? E L E. That element here I am declaring. Okay. So after that, find out what is the hash value. Hash value equal to which element we are we have to for which element we have to calculate the hash value for element. So E L E modulus as table size okay so now coming to the loop from 0th cell to the last cell we have to compare so for i equal to 0 i less than as table size and then i plus plus see the same thing here we can write so whatever here we have written for insertion na, the same thing here you can write so here copy now paste here okay after getting the hash value now we have to compare so here what we have done we checked for collision now but what here we have to do here we have to compare now we will do this comparison so now if h of index equal to element okay so that means the element to be searched in the hash table is present so print f the new line the element is present in the hash table okay and then break like that you can compare so if you reach to end of the bucket end of the hash table that means high e i equal to hash table size if you reach what does it mean the element is not present so slash and the element is not present in the hash table okay that's it save it now compile execute f9 is for compilation see for i here you have not declared na so declare that i variable i save it compile again Compile. So here you missed a semicolon. See, whenever you are getting errors, don't worry. You observe that statement, whether it is correct or wrong. Then you can easily identify the error. You don't worry. Okay. See, here also you missed a semicolon. Cursor is blinking there. Okay. So now again. Compile. Yeah, it is not showing any errors. Now run. See, enter your choice. So, option 1 I am giving. Element 12. See, press any key to continue. So, it, yeah, it has to repeat the process actually. So, that means here it is asking only one time. But it has to repeat. Na? That means we have to write a loop here see while of 1 when it will come to out of the loop whenever you press the exit option that means a fourth option now close here check it once execute compile no errors. If errors are there, then it is highlighting that line. Now, option 1. 1. See, again it is asking 1, some 67. See, 12. 12 modulus. What is the hash table size? We have given 10. That means 12 is inserted in second bucket. 67 is inserted in seventh bucket. If I enter 22, 
then you will get a collision second cell already full collision occurs that means it has to insert in the third bucket so option 1 see 22 I am giving now we will display check that so 22 see 22 is inserted in see here 22 is inserted in third why because for 22 collision occur 22 model is 10 actually collision second bucket already consisting of 12 so collision occur so in linear probe automatically it will go to the next empty cell okay so now we display now search yeah option uh, display search 3 enter element to search 12 see the element is present in the hash table yes suppose uh, 3 which is not present I am giving 40 see the element is not present in the hash table you are getting that's it this is linear probing exit then it will come out of the execution that's it hope you understand students the linear probing program execution so hope you understand if you have any doubts please post to me your doubt in the comment box if you like the video please share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you students have a great day